We're in the CFDA Vogue Fashion Fund Americans in Paris showroom. Eight of us from the fund brought our collections to Paris to present to stores in Europe and media here, and it's just been a fantastic opportunity for all of us. It's great. It's really exciting. It's a beautiful space. We're here in the Marais and we'll have a lot of press coming through, and I think people are a little calmer here in Paris, so it's nice for them to take some time to appreciate a little bit more of the details. It's definitely a great exposure. I think anytime you're in a space that's kind of curated by Anna Wintour, people take notice and you know put in the effort to come by and check out the collections. We're showing both our men's and women's collections. It's a press event, it's a buying event. Well, I think it exposes our brand on more of an international level. I mean, we have various publications from throughout the world. We have buyers come from all over the world. And so it's just an opportunity to show our collections to a wider audience. Anyone that kind of comes here and visits Americans in Paris can kind of see, you know, that what's going on in America right now is so varied. You know, I make everything in Africa. Jonathan Simkai makes these like beautiful women's gowns, and then Rio is doing like the super eclectic streetwear. So it's a great mix of different brands, and I think America is really representing that variety. I think in New York, there's this big movement with menswear, and I think New York has so much talent with our menswear designers, and it would be amazing meeting with the right stores and having them accept American menswear into the market here, and also just excitement about menswear in general. Every time I come to Paris, I'm here for work, so this time I got in a couple of days early, and I finally got to do all of the touristy things that I wanted to do, which is fun. <laughs> I mean, you always have to make time to have a little food. I had croissants this morning. We went to the flea market with Lynn Yeager. It was so amazing. So it was an early morning, but well worth it. Flea market, 8.30 a.m. on Sunday with who? Lynn Yeager? Yes, I'm there. Absolutely. It was actually my birthday here. So we came a couple days early and did the whole double-decker bus tourist 101 of Paris from the Eiffel Tower, Arc de Triomphe and Sacré-Cœur. And we, the Mona Lisa, of course. The Louvre. Yeah, so we did the whole thing. I'm hoping they really get to know us and that we are in an American brand. And, you know, we're trying to become an international American brand. Well, I'm so excited about Europe. I think things have just become so global. You can't just be in New York or one city. It's all about global awareness and getting everyone in the world excited about your brand.